Good afternoon, feisty friends. My name is Ashley, and you are watching Iron Women Live, powered by Wahoo. Thank you so much for watching. We are super excited to get Annie Hogg. Annie, I'm so excited. We finally got to, you, to talk to you in this interview. I've been waiting like 365 days for this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a long time. <laughs> it's, it's a long time. We were like already at the press conference last year. Like, I can't wait to talk to Annie. So I'm stoked that you're back. We're gonna roll our intro, and then we're gonna be back, and I wanna hear all about running fast. And, um, and what it means to be back in Kona and how it's different this year. I hope so because you put on such a spectacular race. It's so fun to watch you. Yeah, thank you very much. I hope I can execute on, on Sunday a very good race. Uh, on Saturday. <laughs> a good Not race. on Sunday. Yeah, I hope on Sunday <laughs> I relax a bit and chill in the pool here. But um, yeah, no, I hope for best. You never know. I mean, every race is a different one. Start from zero and you try your best and see what happens on Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. You were picked, uh, a lot of people picked you as their dark horse last year. We use the word dark mare. Um, <laughs> dark mare, and you just like threw it out of the park. I remember watching you run being like, oh my God, she's doing it. Were you feeling like that too? No, not really, because my expectation was quite low. I just did one Ironman before, and it was not a very happy experience. It was more walking than actually running. So my big goal was for Hawaii to have a, a, a controlled race and be able to run continuously without yeah. stopping at every aid station. So I managed that, and I was very happy with that. And maybe I can run a bit faster this year. I don't know. Yeah, you're certainly a fast runner. Um, do you think that um, your ITU experience has helped you like in the Ironman field? Um, not really because it helped me for 70.3 because it's quite similar speed wise as well but I mean um, Ironman running a, mar running a marathon in Ironman is completely different you don't need this speed you have in ITU it's a complete different kind of run style you need an endurance run like a strong run an efficient run and it's completely different from from um, ITU racing so I mean it's not bad to have a, a basic speed but it doesn't help you very much so it's completely different Okay, so how fast are you going to run? I mean, that's the big question. Tell me, I don't know. <laughs> as fast as I can, hopefully. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's possible. I mean, I'm dreaming of, of a better run time than last year. And, yeah, we will see. It depends how, how hard you have to, uh, yeah, go on the bike. And uh, do you have to catch up to a group or how the race unfolds? So you can't really predict that. And it's a bit dependent on the, like, heat or... Um, conditions as well weather conditions yeah yeah I mean we really focus on your run but you're a solid all-rounder right like your swim is gonna be really strong um, are you thinking you're gonna come out with Sarah true or that group or like or Lucy Charles uh, yeah <laughs> Lucy Charles I think <laughs> watch out for me no. um, I would be really really pleased if I would make the, the big first pack and um, that would be a dream. I mean, last year I made it, um, so I hope for that. And but you have to be on. I mean, this get, the field gets stronger and stronger, and you have to be in your zone. And if you people around swimming the same pace, that would be amazing. But in in the end, you have to do your own race. And if there are people around you which are in the first pack, it would be amazing. And I would hope so for that. But I mean, yeah, we will see. Yeah, I'm so curious. How do you get into the zone? Yeah, that's a good question because your nerves are playing a bit role as well. So you, you really need to be inside. You really have to listen to your body and don't get too confused what everyone else is doing. So it's a bit tricky because it's a world championship. You can't just rely on your own feelings. Sometimes you have to go over the pack and maybe go a bit too hard. But it's a decision you made spontaneous in the race you can't like have a plan in your mind because it unfolds completely different in a race you you take decisions in a second and then you go yeah. for it so 
yeah. it depends what the others do as well. Yeah. I, is, do you use that in life too? Like, are you a spontaneous person? I'm the spontaneous one on our team, so I'm wondering if that's a good racing strategy for me. Uh, normally not. I'm normally really German, I think. <laughs> I like to like plan everything, but in a race, I, I, I'm completely different. I mean, yeah. You have to react what other people do and and see how you feel because I mean an Ironman race is very long so sometimes you feel good you can push a bit harder and sometimes your face is where you maybe yeah have to slow the pace a bit down so um, yeah. Yeah. You have to be spontaneous in a race, but yeah. not in life. <laughs> German precision. There's a lot of German athletes, um, a lot of inspiring men and women, both in this race um, and Kona. What do you think, um, like, is that a thing, like German precision? I mean, Germany, in Germany, Ironman is a really big thing because of our strong men. So, um, yeah, it really pushes the sport in Germany and it's great to be one of the best in Germany as well and maybe inspire others to do the sport as well. So um, I'm really happy that we have such a great team, especially with the women's field today. Uh, on, on Saturday we have really strong German women as well. So there's no all the pressure on yourself because... Every, yeah. All of Germany is watching yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> we have so many good German uh, women athletes as well on the start line. So yeah. it's really great and it's growing and yeah, it's very popular because of Jan and, and, and Patrick, obviously. Yeah, yeah, and you, obviously. No, yeah, I haven't won that, so... <laughs> I'm curious if your life has changed in one year, like going from podium in Kona seems like such a big deal when you're in the sport, um, to this year, I'm sure you've had lots more media and like things grabbing your attention. And maybe straight after, after the race, I had a bit more uh, media stuff to do, but in general, uh, I don't feel any change. I'm still any, maybe one year older. I, I am one year older, but maybe. nothing major changes <laughs> during that because I think, yeah, I mean, I got third. It's different than winning with a new um, race record. So, um, yeah, but I'm, I'm very fine with that. I, life my pri I live, uh, like my private life and um, I don't like too many changes. So I'm very happy with how it is. And yeah. 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 Do you think you can take that top step this year? I hope so. I mean, my preparation wasn't like I would expect it because I had a lot of to deal a lot with injuries in the beginning. But nevertheless, I mean, I think I'm fit. I'm very fit on the start line, maybe fitter than last year. And, and feisty. Hope so. So um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm here to get the spot on the podium. If you get that, you will see on Saturday. So, but everyone is coming for the spot, and I, I'm as well. Yeah, amazing. I'm so, so, so excited. That was a lot of so's. Um, <laughs> excited to watch you on Saturday. Um, last question, who inspires you to keep going, stay motivated and run faster and swim faster and bike faster? All things fast. I think I motivate myself because you always want to be the fast possible you can be. And if you see, oh, maybe I can there's something to, to make better, or there's some construction areas still where you can work on and get better, then squeeze out the lemon. And I think there's a lot to squeeze. And like a pineapple. Yeah, like this pineapple, <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I hope there's a little bit more inside me and that's what motivates me every day, to squeeze it out a bit more and see what, 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 what I'm able to. That sounds good to me. Um, you've heard of the pineapple challenge, correct? Uh, I heard of it, but I'm a bit afraid of it. <laughs> You're a bit of afraid of it. Um, well, I feel like your challenge would be to squeeze the juice out of the pineapple. Okay. <laughs> because this is what's going to happen at the race. What do you think? Oh, that's great. Are you great. so strong it's just going to squeeze? Oh, should I just squeeze it on the, on the floor? Do it, do yeah. it, do it. Oh, God. It's I happening. My doesn't see that. It's happening. I saw it. You juiced the pineapple. Man. Uh <laughs> You were so strong, Annie. Thank you so much for doing the pineapple challenge and doing this interview. Um, friends, thank you so much for watching. Um, Annie Hogg and me, if you like Annie and you like me, now is your time to share this interview. Give us a big thumbs up and share it with all of Germany, right? And all of the other countries too, because we're so awesome. Thank you so much for being feisty friends. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Ashley, how's it going? Hey, Taylor, I just got off my kicker. That's awesome. How was it? Oh, man, you didn't even hear me. I was so silent. That's super impressive. I didn't hear you at all. Yeah, yeah. It was like I was cruising down the Queen K, but actually I was like just in the other room. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. All I got to say is wahoo.